So I'm going to start off by priming my eye with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. As a base, I'm going to use MAC Painterly Paint Pot all over my lids. I'm just going to apply it with my finger. And this is going to also, along with the Primer Potion from Urban Decay, it's also going to help with um, the product not creasing on our eyes. Also, it gives the product the eyeshadows something to stick to and it also helps with making the eyeshadows a little bit brighter in color so I'm just gonna put that all the way up to my crease I'm not gonna bring it up to my brow bone like I did last time I'm also gonna apply a little bit on my lash line my lower lash line because I will be applying color there as a brow bone highlight I'm going to be using MAC arena eyeshadow with my Sigma E70 brush for my crease color, my upper crease, I'm going to be using Brown Script by MAC with my Bedillium 785 Taper Blending Brush. And this is going to act as a transitional color, so I'm just doing circular and windshield wiper motions to get this color well blended. And I'm also going to blend it into that brow bone color as well. This is like a burnt orange color. I love this color as a transitional color, as a crease color, as a lid color. This is a, if you're going to buy a MAC eyeshadow, definitely consider Brown Script. It's great on all skin tones. This is Brune by MAC, and I'm going to also use that in my crease, just a little bit lower than that um, Brown Script that I put. And I'm going to use my Bedellium 776 blending brush. This one's a lot more tapered than the other one. This is smaller and this one's a lot more fluffier. So I'm just going to put that into my socket. And that brown script we put there before really helps blend these colors well into together. And I really like mixing cool and warm because Brown Script is obviously a warm color and um, Brune is a cool brown. So I really like mixing the two together. Even with my um, concealers, I also, for me personally, I mix cool and warm together and I just like the way it looks. All right, and I'm just gonna go back in with that previous brush we used with Brown Script, but I'm not adding any product. Just blending the brown script and the broom together. With the pencil brush, this one's from Crown. I'm just going to add a matte black eyeshadow. This is, uh, you can use any matte black eyeshadow. This one is from a Wet n Wild palette. I deposited all my Wet n Wild palettes and put them into um, my matte palettes. So I'm just going to add that in my outer V, just to deepen out the crease a little bit. And I'm using circular and windshield wiper movement, blending it into that brown. And notice I'm not bringing these colors all the way in. I'm just blending it and then I'm doing windshield wiper movement to just fade it inwards. I'm gonna go back in with that brush that had the broom, not adding any more product to blend these colors together. So it's a nice seamless blend. Going back with that, adding just a little bit more brown script. Just a little bit more. This is Uninterrupted by MAC. This is a Pro Long Wear eyeshadow. I'm going to put this on my lip with my Sigma E55 eye shading brush. This is a gorgeous sepia color. I absolutely loved it. This one was recommended by um, oh, Sam from the Pixie Woo Sisters. Yes. So when I saw her do that, did that sepia look, 
I just fell in love with this color and I've tried it on multiple skin different skin complexions and it just it's one of those all-around colors that look great on everybody so I am patting that color all this over my This is Amber lid. Lights by MAC. I'm going to apply that in my inner tear duct with my Sigma E30 pencil brush. Uh, this is another color, must have color, in my book from MAC. It is just a gorgeous gold color. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gold. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm gonna add my eyeliner. This is Maybelline in uh, Define a Line in Soft Black. Um, I tried, I was worried that this eyeliner would run and it would smudge into, onto my contacts, but it didn't. So it looks like I'm gonna continue using this. So I put that in my waterline and my lower this lash This is Sketch line. by MAC. I'm going to put this color, mix it a little bit with Vibrant Grape by MAC with my pencil brush. I'm gonna wipe off that black that was on there and mix the two colors together, that um, Sketch and Vibrant Grape and run that along my lower lash line and that black eyeliner we put on there as well. I'm taking a little bit of crystal, just a tad bit. It has like a, it's an iridescent purple. I'm gonna add that along that little lash line. I'm going to add my eyeliner, which is MAC Black Track Fluid Line, and my lashes, which are uh, Velour Lashes Doll Me Up, and my mascara, which is the Lash Stiletto by Maybelline and I will be right back with the rest of my face. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, I already applied my foundation, concealer, highlight, contour, all that. Um, for blush, I used Bordeaux by um, La Femme. Um, for my highlight, as usual, I'm using um, NARS Albatross. And for lips, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to first line my lips with MAC Cherry Lip Liner. Now I'm going to apply Lady Danger. This is a matte lipstick. And in the center, I'm going to just add this orange lip glass. Um, this is Riviera Life. This was part of the Hey Sailor collection. Oh, and I'm gonna spray my face with Model in a Bottle finishing spray. So we'll see how this is. This is the final look guys, um, I really really like it. This is, um, I never really got a chance to wear this lipstick, but um, yeah, I'm feeling it. Kind of neutral eyes and um, bold lip, bold bright lip, yeah. So I hope you guys like it and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Thank you, bye. Thank you.